Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that my hair is a little messy uh, right now. I just got back an hour ago from work and all that. I had to run a few errands before coming back home, of course. And I did go out to eat and grab something to eat, of course. But yeah, I'm returning to you uh, this afternoon for uh, another album review. This is a new album review for Nickelback's new album, Get Rolling. Or get rolling, I should say. That I'm going to be discussing about in this long-awaited studio album by Nickelback. Their 10th studio album, Get Rolling. So, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 11 songs off this new album, Get Rolling. And let you know my thoughts on it. So, let's dive into this uh, album review. Now, it starts with the first song, San Quentin. And off the bat, it's grown on me, but I think the lyrics are playing it a little safe and sort of cringy in my opinion, but that's just me, I guess. Uh, basically, it's got uh, Chad Kroger singing the lyrics. Test of, it's about, the lyrics are sort of asinine in my opinion. Like, you have him talking about partying and going back to San Quentin partying and going back to San Quentin. It's a repetitive cycle with how the song's thing is going about itself. How the song is going about itself, I should say. So, four out of five for San Quentin. Instrumentally, it's great. It's just the lyrics are a little asinine, in my opinion. So, four out of five. Skinny Little Missy. Um, I was a little surprised with this one. It's got a great guitar solo from Ryan Peake, and it sounds pretty good, in my personal opinion. Chad Kroger's doing pretty well singing it some of the time, but there are some on-the-fence lyrics with me. Um, I don't remember which lyrics, but basically this is a song I'd have to return to to see where I lie with this track, but so far what I got from this track, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's just some cringe to the lyrics, the skinny little missy don't want no boyfriend thing, and I'm like, mm, it's, it is what it is, I guess, so, four out of five for skinny little missy. Those days has grown on me a lot more than I thought. It's not the worst track on this album, which is a good thing. So it'll be off my worst songs of 2022, of course. So I've decided to give this song a 3.5 out of 5 now. I think it's average. It does have a same Nickelback sound to their older stuff, but they're reminiscing on old days, on those days that they were looking back on when they started as a band and how they got together and started a band and all that. So pretty nice to reminisce on that kind of thing so i saw the music video and the music video was pretty interesting and pretty cool i guess um so 3.5 out of 5 for those days i think it's an average song it's not something i would go crazy over but it's something so high time is one of the worst songs on this album it is probably worse than vegas bomb and Vegas Bomb is pretty cringy too, and I will get to that song in a moment. High Time just has this kind of, you can drive to this music and sing in a van with harmonies or whatever. It's The lyrics are so cringe that I'm just like, why are they trying too hard to please a certain audience that's been with Nickelback for a while? That... I know if you liked Feed the Machine, you're not going to like this album. That is the only downside to this album. There are two bad songs on this album that kind of ruin this album's reception and how it's going to turn out and what the score I'm going to give it is. So, yeah, 1.5 out of 5 for High Time. It was shit, honestly. The lyrics were too cringy and just... The way it was sounding overall, like a country kind of laid back vibe, it's just like, this is cringe. 
this is just not good. This is probably one of their worst songs to date. So, yeah. Vegas Bomb, like I said, pretty bad song. The reason why it's a bad song is because it said something about ladies putting up their pom-poms and other things that, like that. The lyrics play it too safe and are very cringy, in my opinion. So... I was really disappointed with this one. I like it instrumentally, but I don't like how it's sounding with Chad Kroger coming up with the lyrics and all that. So 2.5 out of 5. Tidal Wave is a decent song. I was a little impressed with this track. I wouldn't call it the worst song on this album, but it's decent. This, Skinny Little Missy, and San Quentin are pretty much the decent songs along with two other tracks as well. So, basically, I'll give this a 4 out of 5. I like the Loving You is just like surfing on a tidal wave lyric. Pretty interesting lyric. I was pretty interested in this song, but it did get a little repetitive. And then there were some on-the-fence lyrics that I'm just not sure if I cared for with certain lyrics on the song. So, 4 out of 5. Does Heaven Even Know You're Missing is a solid track. I was really impressed with this one. Chad Kroger sounds really good vocally, and the lyrics are fine on this track. So I was a little impressed with this track. But yeah, um, it's not the best song, but it's something. It's something we've heard from Nickelback, which for those that like to feed the machine, like I said, you may not like this album. <laughs> Which we already predicted this was going to suck. And it kind of did. <laughs> so 4.5 out of 5. Steel Still Rust is a solid track too. I think when you get towards the end of the album, that's where it gets a little better. And plays it its cards right with this. Uh, how the track's performances and all that turn out. So, 4.5 out of 5 for Steel Still Rust. I like the kind of vibe I'm getting from this track. It's got a little southern vibe to it, but it does pretty well with Chad Kroger singing in it. And the lyrics are not too bad. Um, Horizon is a pretty solid track. It was written by Chad Kroger and a country artist as well. So, I'll give this a 4.5 out of 5. Standing in the Dark is a solid track. It's actually decent in my opinion. There are some lyrics I'm not sure if I'm feeling for in my personal opinion. But personally for me, I think uh, Standing in the Dark is getting a 4 out of 5. Uh, some lyrics I'm not sure if I'm feeling for. But other than that, decent song. And finally we get to just one more and that is a decent closer to close this album out um basically i wasn't sure if i was gonna feel for this track at first but it kind of grew on me around what well, this is my third listen of this album of course so four out of five for just one more some of the lyrics tend to get a little on the fence with me but still the performance of the track was pretty solid so four out of five overall production mixing and execution wise I think Nickelback put out one of the weakest albums this time around, in my opinion. So, yeah, I was really disappointed with it. There were two tracks that brought the rating down for this album, and that was High Time, Vegas Bomb. Those two songs. Those days kind of did a bit to an extent, but at least it had a little bit of variety to the song. So overall, in my opinion, I think um, Nickelback's new album, Get Rollin', was disappointing. I was not really a fan of this album. And there are uh, quite a bit of tracks I'll come back to, but the only two songs I will not listen to are High Time and Vegas Bomb. And the reason why I'm giving it a low score is because of those two songs. It really ruined the album's performance. And it should have been worked on a lot more. But hey, this is what they're going for. This is a disappointing album, but it is what it is. But there are some pretty redeemable tracks I would return to, for sure, on this album. So for a score for me, I'm giving Nickelback Get Rollin' 
a 5.5 out of 10. It's unfortunately disappointing. It sucks that it is because Feed the Machine was one of their best albums uh, to date. And now putting out this album, it set them back a lot with some of their fans. They did say in an interview, if fans don't like this album, that's their choice. The older fans, I mean to say, that were interested in their rock stuff. Yeah, they have Skinny Little Missy as one of the tracks that could be cringe when you see the title, of course. But it really isn't. It's pretty solid uh, of a track. It's decent in its own way, so... 5.5 out of 10 for Nickelback Get Rolling. It's not the worst album of the year, but it is going to be on my worst albums. So comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of Nickelback's new album, Get Rolling, if you've heard this album. And if you did enjoy this album review that I did for you guys this afternoon, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. I will be returning to you for another review. And that'll be for St. Asonia Extrovert that I'll be doing in due time. And yeah, sorry about the noise in the background. That's uh, some bird outside my house just chirping or whatever. It's weird. <laughs> but yeah, um, I will be returning to you for another review. I got some good news. I might have another job lined up in due time, even though I got one already. Um, I'm not going to be working tomorrow or for the job I'm at right now that I do in the morning time to early afternoon. But, yeah, the, the guy, the manager told me to wait till uh, Tuesday till he had the sign ready and all that. But I'll just wait and see what happens. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this Nickelback Get Rolling album review. Keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion on the album. If you don't like this review, you didn't have to watch it, but I was enjoying it more than I thought. Um, but those two songs really ruined the way I felt about this album. So the album has some disconnected moments to it. Like High Time and Vegas Bomb really ruined the album's performance in my opinion, so stay safe, guys, take care, this will be coming out very soon, I gotta upload it, of course, and yeah, I'll be doing St. Asonia Extrovert EP review very soon, and as always, I will see you in my next review.